just thank you guys. Um, this has been a really fun season for me uh, to uh, kind of fill in a little bit and uh, just bless these guys down here so much. We love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And so I'm real. I don't hide things, so I'm going to be real. So this guy came to me, and he's like, my testimony called that sick. I need you to give a testimony. And I was like, yes. Oh, so you know when the Bible says, be prepared to give a defense for the hope that you have in you? Oh, it was not lying. Be prepared, because it could come right now, right now. Um, so I thought, oh, okay, Lord, uh, I need your help. I know you're doing stuff. I know you are doing stuff. So what do you want me to, to share? So... Can you open my Bible to the uh, little tab there? It's going to be Matthew chapter 6. All right. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. And then, Sawyer, can you throw that up on the screen? Boom. Look at that. All right. So in the NASB, the title is for this section is The Cure for Anxiety. So I'm going to read it. Read along with me. For this reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky that they do not sow nor reap nor gather crops into barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them. He feeds them. Are you not more important than they? You're made in his image. Of course you are. And which of you, by worrying, can add a single day to his lifespan? And why are you worried about clothing? Notice how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor, nor do they spin thread for cloth. Yet I say to you, not even Solomon in all his glory clothed himself like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith, do not worry then, saying, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What are we to wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows, knows, he knows you, so he knows that you need all these things. This is the verse that I really want to highlight to you, and I'll share what God's doing. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided to you. All, all means... Ah, oh, man, you guys are, you pay attention during church. I like that. That's good. All right. So, um, when I was a little bit younger, I'm still fairly young, I think. Okay. Uh, um, so I was single for most of my early twenties. I really wanted to be married. Um, I felt like that was a calling on my life. Marriage is super important. We have a lot of great marriages. Where's Clay and Mary? You guys are such a great example. We just love you and bless you guys. You're such an example of marriage in this house. Um, and so when I was younger, when I was like 22, 23, I was like, ah, oh, God, where's my woman? You know? <laughs> um, and, uh, and I, I just kind of struggled with that. I really did. I had a lot of anxiety. I was like those flittering birds, like, uh, oh, Lord, where's my, what are you doing? Um, has anybody been there? Maybe not for marriage, but for something you're like, Lord, okay, well that's called sin. Right. And so I was in sin. I was in rebellion. I was not within the will of the Lord because I was just worrying and fretting like that verse talks about. So, um, I was on a worship team at the church we were going to, uh, and I actually just sang. I did not have this. Didn't, didn't know how to play the guitar. I didn't know what A suspended was. Um, I was just up here singing, worshiping the Lord. I've always loved praising him. He is worthy, right? Um, so my brother said, I want you to lead, but in order for you to lead, you got to play an instrument. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, you gotta you gotta play an instrument. I need you to uh, because basically uh, at the time we were you know thinking like what if you just went into a room like how could you be the most equipped? And he said I want you to learn how to pick this up, pick the strings. Okay, praise the Lord for YouTube, man. And so uh, I saw after the Lord and. Um, now I'm coming back to the marriage thing. Don't forget it. I'm coming back to it. So I sought after him and I learned some songs and my mom said, I want you to, uh, come play for our Bible study and I need some people to practice worship on. Right. So, uh, bless them. <laughs> so I knew, I knew one song, one song, um, an old hymn. And then, uh, like the day before my mom was like, Hey, it's this girl's birthday, whatever. Can you learn happy birthday? So I was like, sweet. I know two songs. One of them's a worship song and happy birthday. Um, so I learned happy birthday, and it was my wife's birthday. So that's how we met. Um, we met at a Bible study. My mom said, learn how to play happy birthday. Ugh. 
Jesus, thank you, Lord. So, seek first the kingdom of God. He was calling me forth. He said, I have a plan for you. He knew this day, that was like, you know, six, seven years ago, he knew this day was already going to be made. So he said, follow me, follow my will. Be right here with me, and I'll add everything to you. So once I fully surrendered to him, because it's hard. It is hard to do this, play this thing, play with together, do it well, and sing. But he is so worth, he was worth all those hours of YouTube videos. I recorded myself and listened back. I was like, ooh, man, we got some work to do, kid. Uh, but he is worth it. He is worth the striving. He is worth seeking because he will add to you more than you could even imagine. And so I am thankful for my marriage, my little sweet baby. And I only have them because I fully submitted and surrendered to the will of the Lord. I sought after his kingdom and he took care of me more than I could have ever even imagined. So that's my testimony. I'm grateful for uh, the Lord adding Sam to my life, adding our little baby Hannah. And I, I would not have them without seeking after his kingdom first. So whatever he's calling you to do, I don't know if it's picking up the guitar. I don't know if it's cleaning the toilets. I don't know what it is, but he has a calling on your life. He does. He doesn't forget anyone, right? Seek that. You have no idea the blessings that are on the other side.